अब लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में दिखाई दे रहा होगा प्रिपेयरिंग Yes, we are live now. Right. So Benjamin Franklin once said, "An investment in knowledge pays the best interest." It is on occasions like this we get opportunities to invest more in our knowledge and understanding. We look forward to get an exposure about what the think tanks of this very dynamic field of physical education and sports think. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Ramdutta Pandey, and it's my pleasure to welcome you here on this day on behalf of Physical Education Foundation of India, PFI Life 2.0. I hope you all are healthy and safe at your ends, and would like to thank you for joining us today for this special presentation on the swiftest printer, wherein our today's expert, Dr. George Ibrahim Sir, the principal of YMCA College of Physical Education, Chennai. will be talking about the strategies of fast printing our expert today is accompanied by ms minakshi pahudaman nari shakti awardee and assistant professor physical education department lady shri ram college for women university of delhi and a swimming expert on behalf of team pefi i would like to welcome you all once again for the eighth session of pefi life 2.0 before we start let me explain how you can talk to us during this session if you have any questions or doubts regarding this session just write them to the comment section we'll pick up those question and it will be answered by our experts i am profoundly elated to take an opportunity to introduce our expert dr george ibrahim sir mpes mphil and phd in physical education msc in yoga ma in economics and pop population sciences post graduate diploma in yoga fitness management hospital management human rights and public administration advanced diploma in acupuncture and not to forget one more doctorate degree in business administration in management studies wow sir that is a medal mounted tally 19 years of teaching experience and 20 years of research experience he is specialized in training methods exercise physiology prevention of hypokinetic diseases track and field he has published five books and 72 articles in national and 90 articles in international journals presented paper in 135 nationals and 88 international conferences and seminars a committee member and organized many sports events recipient of 13 various social and educational awards the world champion with four medals for 60 meter 100 meter 200 meter and pentathlon in australian world master games at australia october 2015 ladies and gentlemen i feel very pleased very honored to welcome dr george abraham sir the fastest man of india above 40 years from 2012 to 2017 on the pfp platform over to you sir thank you dr ramit pandey Shall I share my screen now? Uh, yes, sir. You can proceed with the sharing of screen. Right. We are able to see it, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. I am extremely happy to be with you this wonderful afternoon. First of all, I would like to thank. then the team of pfi physical education foundation of india especially the general secretary of pfi dr p u jain for inviting me and given this opportunity to my views about sprinting events to public especially the uh, uh, physical education and for sports science fraternity i think uh, i would like to appreciate the pefi team because uh, they are organizing a lot of programs in putting together in putting um, putting together uh, all the all the fields uh, to this in the same platform a single platform to discuss about the importance of physical education 
and discuss about the different uh, different discipline and um, the current affairs also in putting together the, the single platform of baby so that is very appreciable uh, that is uh, so uh, the, it's not a simple work it's a herculean task but they are doing very nicely all the job this is the right platform i think pefi is the right platform to discuss about physical education and allied sciences area so once again i would like to appreciate entire pefi team for your great effort especially the general secretary uh, dr uh, uh, piyush, uh, piyush jai for your great effort before entering this before discussing uh, this uh, super sprinter i would like to share something about sprinting events everybody is knows about sprint is nothing but fastest event in the world hanamaris but like 50 meters or oh, this is the fastest event human event in the world everybody is watching track and field is a queen of sports in track and field events hanamaris is the is one of the is not is the attractive event why because this is the fastest movement it's a very thrilling event everybody is looking for that that is why we are calling fastest event fastest men and fastest women in the world that is what hanamaris see you can see the fastest men so far You can see Jesse Owens, Carl Lewis, Dennis Mitchell, Reloy Brodel, then um, Usain Bolt, then uh, Frojo, Florence Gibbs Joyner, men as well as women. We can see photos. Have a look for these photos. Swiftest sprinter means quickly or very fast. a good sprinter is smart and intelligent so we can say swiftest sprinter is fast and intelligent when we discuss about sprinting the definition everybody knows sprinting is running over a short distance in a limited period of time it is used in many sports that incorporate a running typically as a way of quickly raising a target or goal quickly sorry quickly reaching a target or goal. that is sprinting even as we all know actually sprinting is a difficult combination of aggression relaxation technique and efficiency that is sprinting It is a diff difficult combination of aggression, the aggressive mood, or it should be relaxed, technically oriented, and efficient. Many things are comprised with efficiency. Our race, muscle nature, body nature, body structure, muscle structure, many things related to this efficiency. Usually, we can see. the african race american africans are the winners usually for hanamaris why because because of their nature of their muscles and capacity and efficiency the hanameters is sometimes labeled as the easiest most complicated even in sports the lean body mass and well developed central nervous system cns for fast reaction and the ability to explode on command too much bulk especially on athletes chest and shoulders can significantly decrease the ability to relax and control what the body is greeting doing high speed that means relaxation is important to maintain this top end speed without relaxation we cannot run fast so strength power and 
relaxation. All three factors are very important to do hard meters spin events. When we discuss about the spinning physiology, see usually when we discuss about the physiology, uh, we have uh, see we have already highlighted the key structure of different of items of muscle fibers types between the endurance athlete and sprinter. The sprinter is the one endowed with the dominance of the fast stretch fiber, as we all know. This white fiber has several speed producing characteristics that make it ideally suited for speed and power performance. Human physiology indicates that a runner near post speed cannot be maintained for more than 30 or 35 seconds due to the depletion of phosphocreatine stores in muscles. And perhaps, secondly, the excessive metabolic acidosis as a result of anaerobic glycosis. So when we discuss the most efficient way of run fast, look at this slide. It's also coming under physiology. The SS physiologist knows very well all these things. Phosphocreatine is the most immediate source of energy we have access to run faster. It is separate from the glycolytic because that means anaerobic and mitochondrial aerobic pathways and is the way to rapidly produce energy. That means adenosine triphosphate is ATP at the onset of high intensity exercise. So the creatine phosphate, CP as an energy sources has this finite and only last for roughly 20 seconds before it depleted and ATP is produced through glycolysis or the mitochondria. This is the excess phys I mean, uh, physiology of anabetes. See, when we discuss about what makes a sprinter fast, better sprinters have a high proportion of type 2 muscle fibers, which you can develop forces to rapidly, and they are commonly called fast switch fibers. As I told you earlier, instead muscular forces stretch elastic tissues such as tendon and stored energy is subsequently recaptured at much faster rates when they recoil. See, when we discuss about the motor qualities of a sprint, these are the motor qualities as we all know. The strength, flexibility, power, different types of power, and speed. These are the motor quality. See, without strength, strength means maximum strength. Elastic strength also needed. Then flexibility of the joints and muscles. Then power, explosive power and elastic power. Then sprinting speed. So we all know that. That's why I'm not going to enter deeply. These are the motor qualities of speed. When we discuss about the science of anaerobic sprint, what makes the best athlete faster than the rest? The discipline and training behind the hundred or less than sorry, ten or less than ten hundred meters for hundred meters. Less than 10 seconds, it takes LA spinders to cross the line. See, I mentioned here, the greatest race in the Olympic is the simplest. The eight runners, eight straight lines, a bang, an explosion of muscles, and less than 10 seconds later, a winner. This is what 100 meter sprint. I'm going to discuss 
the different parts of fundamentals how we can improve fundamentals what are the elements of fundamental sprint how we can get good start how we can run fast how we can improve our stride length can we increase our frequency of speed this is what we are going to discuss today how we can become a become an olympic athlete how can we make a good sprinter all these things we are going to discuss today see when we discuss next one the phases of fundamental sprint these are the phases of fundamental sprint see the brain is the unseen muscle behind all great athletes the 100 meters sprint it has to work out autopilot we learn moment in the motor context but when it is locked in it move to the back of the brain not front side of the brain after a good race an athlete probably remember nothing i try to remember how i did hundred meters even after finishing hundred meters i couldn't remember anything nothing in between one breath that's all i repeat after a good race an athlete probably remember nothing that is good race then let me discuss about this one the phases of hundred meters before the gun goes off when athletes are in the starting phase they have to block everything out just concentrate and be steady so first technique before the gun goes off second one off the block bang the starting pilot is fire the brain ends the signal to the muscles and everything goes into automatic mode when the brain sends a signal to the muscle and everything goes into automatic mode the runner's body remains low muscles contract to create the force necessary to push against the starting blocks then it's a time to accelerate the next phase is acceleration every time a foot makes contact with the ground there is a slight breaking before pushing off again for elite athletes in contact is quicker than the blink of an eye that is the speciality of good start i mean start then when we discuss about maximum velocity see at least halfway into the race athletes hit maximum velocity that means the foot strikes the ground with a force equal to more than 3 times body weight more than 3 times body weight it's a huge impact the breaking phase and the push off phase must be equal to maintain maximum velocity then last deceleration towards the end of the race energy uh, resources are depleted and performance start to diminish after 80 meters or we can say after 75 sometimes after 85 meters sometimes after 90 meters it look like a winning spinner accelerate away from the pack at the end of the race but they are just slowing down the least not reduce the speed that much so 
four clearly. We can discuss next slide. We can discuss the other other phases of animators. This space for animator. Then you can you can you can have a clear picture through this slide. What are the phases of hundred meters? The hundred meters dash is broken into. I mean, from my view, we can uh, broke in six phases. First phase, the start up to 15 meters. Second phase, isolation phase, 15 to 20 meters. The transition phase, 20 to 40 meters. The maximum velocity, 40 to 60 meters. This is the first phase of maximum velocity. Second phase is maximum, maximum velocity is 60 to 80 meters. Some people taking maximum speed when they reach 40 meters. Some people can take maximum speed when they reach only 60 meters. Anyhow, 60 to 80, they can maintain their maximum speed, maximum velocity. The speed maintenance, uh, uh, that speed maintenance, that means uh, 80 to 100 meters. That end of the race. Patience is important in developing yourself in this event. That is what we are lacking. <laughs> Patience, not like other games, chronometers, especially sprint, 100 and 200 sprint events. Patience is very important. See, through this, have a look. Through this, we will get a clear picture. This is a so evaluation of speed of Hussein Bolt. See, he had, when he reached 20 meters, he cleared 6.92 meters per second. When he reached 40 meters, he cleared 11.45 meters per second. When he reached 60 meters, 11.98 meters per second. That is increasing speed. When he reached 80 meters, he has cleared 12.42 meters per second. See, after 80 meters, what happened? Next 20 meters, he cleared 12.50 meters only per second. That means it decreases, diminishes his speed after 80 meters. You can, you can see one more. Very clearly, you can understand. See, we can compare with other runners also. What happened in 2009? I took this stats from 2009 World Championship at Berlin. See, see the same boat I told you, you know. He, he reached his maximum speed when he reached 80 meters only. 12.42 meters he has cleared out of one second. See, Tyson Gay, he also reached. When he is 60 meters, he cleared 11.83 meters only per second. When he reached 12 meters, 80 meters, he cleared 12.27. See, Powell, the old finalist of World Championship in 2009, they have reached their maximum speed when they reached 80 meters. See, oh, even, even Patton also, 11.30. See, look at, after that, Best sprinters, see the differences. After that, they reduce the speed. From 12.42 meters to 12.05, 12.27 to 11.83, 11.90 to 11.49. See the last runner, pattern. He reached his speed, maximum speed, not 80 meters. Then he reached 95 meters only. See, he cleared 10.42 meters. And the exceptions are not an example. Okay, we can see the average of finalist. When he reached 80 meters, they cleared 11.82 meters only. 80 meters. After that, they reduce the speed. They cleared 11.40. They mean reduce. And 42 seconds. 4.4 seconds. Seconds they reduced. This is what happened. That means we can say. They cannot maintain maximum velocity up to 100 meters, only 80 meters. See this one also. 
this average average speed of final is in 2009 world championship okay see this is what split time declared in 2012 london olympics declared he clock 9.63 seconds to zain bolt see this one also that means 12 london olympics also see the time see have a look see he he reached maximum speed when he reached 80 meters 12.42 after that he diminished his speed see this is this is the average to zain bolt in 2012 olympics see we can convert the latest in the current sprinters to 30 years back sprinters they happen in 1992 see the difference that is what i going to discuss with you this is important things so linford christie he clear he reach his maximum speed when he reached to 60 meters not 80 meters he cleared 11 point that is that was his maximum speed he cleared 11.49 meters when he reached 50 meters he has maintained the same speed when he reaches 80 meters he cleared only 11.9 same same distance reach 100 meters 11.9 that means he reached his maximum speed when he touched 60 meters after that he maintained not only linford christie see fredrick also namibia capetic also see he reached his maximum speed around 0.66 36 when he reached 60 meters and his son he has he could maintain 11.36 when he reached 80 meters and he reached 100 meters so that means till 99 meters he has maintained the same speed 60 to 100 meters see dennis mitchell see he is same early they clock the same time 11.36 11.36 meters 11.36 meters per second what is the difference see the average is different average we can see we can see the average average means the when they reach 80 meters 11.32 up to that they, they reduce the speed average is can that is but the zero the leading runners they could maintain speed up to 60 meters up to 100 meters that means one controversy is there either they didn't use their maximum velocity they did maximum speed or they could maintain they had speciality to maintain their speed i think because lack of techniques they couldn't use their maximum capacity that is my view It's a controversial issue. I am not going to enter that issue. Anyhow, the average is same only. We cannot maintain our full speed up to 100 meters. After 80 meters, definitely we will reduce our speed. This is what I am going to I'm share with you. Then, okay, I think you got a clear picture. What I am trying to convince you is very simple. We cannot maintain our maximum speed up to 100 meters. we can maintain our maximum speed 60 to 80 meters only as far as all the literature is concerned all the statistics is concerned i can say i could say see when we discuss about how to train like an olympic sprinter that is what is very important apart from race we can we can have all the things now in india we have good stuff we have sports psychologist we have sports nutritionist good uh, technique human research performance laboratory we have at pune as well as bangalore patiala we have all the facilities what is lacking it's a big question for us anyhow we can discuss that is a different area i'm not going to enter that area okay anyhow how to train like an olympic sprinter elite sprinters possess a high portion of fat rich muscle fibers as we all how sheer amount of work capacity exceptional reaction time and quick foot movement 
they are really the total package of power, strength, and speed, as we all know. Now, how to see? What are the keys to speed? That is what we are going to discuss. Keys to speed. Before discussing the keys of speed, I would like to share something, some literature, research evidences to you. Elite spinders are unlike other athletes. Deliver forceful punch to ground. See, from my view, you can say 100 meters is not a running. It's a like type of bounding. New research finds that, see, you can read that, find that, World Liga sprinters attack the ground to maximize impact force and speed. Some new findings indicated that the secret to elite sprinter speed lies in the distinct limb dynamic sprinters used to elevate ground forces upon full drive, I mean, uh, ground impact. Our new study shows that these elite spinders don't use their legs to just bounce off the ground as most other runners do. This, the top spinders have developed a wind up and delivery mechanism to augment impact forces. Other runners do not do so. See, the previous studies also, I mentioned. The previous studies have established that faster runners attain faster speed by hitting the ground more forcefully than other runners do in relation to their body weight. That is the previous studies. The recent studies, you can see the difference. The new research indicates that the fastest runners decelerate their foot and angle in just over 200 of seconds after initial contact with the ground. This is what really mentioned in new researches. Then let me discuss about the uh, determinants of speed. Next slide we can discuss about what are the determinants of sprint performance? Friends, the 100 meter sprint has traditionally been categorized into three main phases. All the coaches know very well about this. First one, acceleration, maximum velocity, and deceleration. The acceleration phase can in turn be segregated into initial, middle, and final. Reaction time in world class spinders, that is also very important for us. Is uh, for uh, typically point from a normally 0 0.17 second to 0.19 second. Reaction time of world class spinders. So speed is very important. Speed is one of the determinant, main determinant. Speed. Power, technique, and spin specific endurance are considered key underlying determinants of underbiter spin performance. Power, techniques, and spin specific entrance. A very strong relationship exists between maximal horizontal output and sprint performance. The shorter the spin distance is, the higher the association with maximum horizontal power output. Power output demands in spinning increases exponentially with velocity. Maximum velocity. This is what these are the ingredients of uh, sorry determinants of speed. You can say ingredients. See speed, hundred meters per hour. Speed, power, technique, and sprint specific endurance. Then when we discuss about the training principles, see the, we as we all know all these things. We all as far as physical education fraternity studied very well about the all things. I'm not, not, not going to explain that much, but I'd like to share a little bit about progressive overload. 
A long-term performance development is only achieved when athletes are exposed to a systematic increase in training load over time. While adequate recovery is ensured. That is what is very important for us. Without proper recovery, we cannot improve our speed. It is progressive overload. Then specificity. The training adaptations are specific to the stimulus applied. Encompassing movement patterns and force velocity characteristics such as muscle action and muscle group upset. Speed of movement, range of motion, training load and energy systems are involved. That is specificity. Then when we discuss a variation of periodization, variation and periodization, the principle of uh, variation builds on a, on a notion and systematic variation in specific training variables uh, is most effective for long-term adaptation. That's what, that is periodization. Then when we discuss individualization, individualization is the general training principles and refers to the idea that training must be prescribed according to individual performance capacity and predeposition such as anthropometry factors, training status, and age. Apart from that, recovery or injury status and force velocity profile also involved for individualization. Many things are involved in individualization. As I told you earlier, sex, age, race, many things are involved. These are the training principles, basic principles of training. Not only for fundamentals, for all the discipline as well as all the events of track and field. Then, these are training methods of fundamentals. <clears throat> First one is maximum velocity. Flying swim days are typically recommended when the focus is to develop maximum velocity. Second one, spin specific endurance. As I told you, the aim of spin specific endurance training is to improve the ability to maintain spin velocity as far for as long as possible. Up to 100 meters or 200 meters, no, up to 180 meters or 160 meters. Such training is um, um, the Typhi uh, uh, by runs lasting uh, 7 to 15 seconds uh, at 95, we can say 95%, 95 to 100% uh, intensity. No doubt. But that lasting only 7 to 15 seconds, not more than that. Which full recovery use between repetitions and sets. Without full recovery, we cannot start any other repetition. Then speed endurance also, third one. While most scientific studies recommend that spinning repetition should be performed with maximal velocity, <coughs> not 80%, not 90, up to 95. At the maximum, we can say maximum velocity. Then some importance. I would like to share, these are the habits of elite sprinters. So main, visualization, recovery routine, resting, take no prisoners, medicine, mindset, trust in their coach, seeking mentorship, seeking critic forward praise. That means first one visualization. That's very important. Great sprinters have a vision of their future. If you want to become a good sprinter, you should have vision. The dream about their success at night, they, they dream about winning. Then only you can achieve. Second, recovery routine. Most successful sprinters have already had a significant injury, no doubt. Elite sprinters 
all develop their own routine that help them to stay healthy they have a portion of time after practice that is dedicated to stay healthy during this lockdown period unfortunately our athletes can't train at at uh, public stadium or uh, indoor stadium or uh, public places they cannot use public places but i hope this lockdown will lift or the we can we can resist corona virus within a short time we can live with corona with the healthy within a short time that is what i hope uh, anyhow the resting third one is resting the motto is if you don't have to run walk if you don't have to walk sit if you don't have to sit and then lie down both cheetahs and elite spinners are very lazy i am also a little bit lazy man see this is the basic thing like cheetah they they preserve all their energy until its competition time then take no prisoners mindset that means that means elite spinners always believe they can go faster and even if it is unrealistic they think they are the best in the globe in the land all the spinners are thinking like that. they are the best person they are the fittest person in the globe spinners all have different way of expressing their mindset but the root of it come from the same place when elite sprinters step on the track they are nobody's pals or friends it's a war time and elite sprinters are trying to rip anyone to shred who dare step on the same track as them they are concentrated only on track then another thing is very important is the habits trust in their coach elite athletes have excellent relationship with their coaches people try and make this a strictly business relationship at the pro level all of a time but it rarely works elite spinners have a, a mutual mutual relationship with or healthy relationship with coaches no doubt then another one seeking mentorship elite spinners always seek out mentors that can help them get better this is a big reason that people go to an individual school or join a specific training group elite spinners want to be around people who are better than them why because then only they can improve their speed then another one seeking critic over praises do you know that you are stepping into the elite rank when you care more about getting critic than you do about praise on the other hand we can say when you are elite you want to improve and fix all the little things you do wrong you already have a good idea of what you do right but you seek feedback to consistently get a better picture of what you can improve to help you get a new level for example you can understand very easily when you seek a critic every day that is 365 or 364 chances to improve something you are doing well where praise may make you feel good there is not a lot of can learn from it 
So criticism is very important. Then only we can improve. And I let, I mean, sprinters can improve the speed. See, when we discuss about easy way to improve our speed, for next slide. These are techniques. We discuss all day about the habits of sprinters, training principles. This is the way to improve our spinning speed. First one, start, start with wall drives during training. This is not for, uh, uh, that uh, Nova is not for beginners, for elite. The most important part of spinning is the start. So, start with wall drives. Perform heavy sled drags. Another way to practice efficient isolation at the starts is uh, to perform heavy sled drags for uh, uh, 10 to 50 meters or 20 meters. That's all, not more than that. Then develop isometric and eccentric hamstring strength. Otherwise, you'll get injured. Isometric and extending hamstring strength through hamstring exercise to leg kill, you can improve your hamstring. Back hop is one the best method to improve your hamstring strength. Use good hamstring mechanics. Up to chin, not above chin. Up to chin. Good hamstring mechanics. Then improve stride length. See, actually we can say spinders are born or made. One controversy is there. But one thing I, I can say, we can improve our legs, legs, I mean stride length through resistance training as well as flexibility training. But we cannot improve significantly our frequency, leg speed. That means frequency. We can correct the technique. But we can improve the time. No issue. But we, know we cannot improve the stride length significant level. That is inborn quality. But one thing is very important. We can improve stride length. Both are very important for automated. Stride length as well as stride frequency. Stride length we can improve. Through stride length we can improve our speed. No doubt. For stride length, we can improve our speed. See? Yeah. Yeah, improve. we can improve our speed. Yeah, okay, okay. The, when we discuss about the techniques of sprint, sorry for that. See, upper body, head, shoulder, hands, arm, arms. This is a part of upper body, main part. Parts, these parts are involved in hammer sprint, usually. When we discuss about head, keep your head in line with your spine while running. Don't shake like this way. Keep your head in line with your spine. Focus your side directly down in trunk. Focus your side directly down the trunk. Relax your neck and jaw muscles. Don't try to close your lips as you should. That's all. Don't try. Relax your neck as well as jaw muscles. Don't clench your teeth. Don't clench your teeth while running. This is a technique for upper body is concerned. Then shoulder, as we all know, don't shrug your shoulders. The shoulders keep 
should be keep kept low not up by your ears like this shoulder should keep kept low of your ear then hands up and arms run with open palm is possible both are right it's my view <clears throat> like kalu is that's good kalu is really notice this one open palm <clears throat> sorry if you naturally run with a closed fist stay relax and don't clench clench like this way no issue for that either this way or relax don't clench remember elbow to the sky thumb to the eye usually coaches are saying 90 degree okay 90 shoulder 90 degree elbow 90 degree elbow to the sky maximum thumb to the eye that's all not more than that okay sing arms with legs synchronize automatically will come synchronize which will come automatically These are techniques involved in hands and arm while running 100 meters sprint. See, our next one, lower body. See, one more thing: remaining upright during maximum velocity, flexing or extending at the hip will limit your range of motion. That's also important for a strong area. Then when we discuss the lower body, run on the ball of your feet and push off with your toes. The ball of the foot, no. Run on the ball of the foot of your feet, ball of the foot of your feet, and push off with your toes. Second technique: keep stride long with comfortable. Keep stride long, not short, but with comfortable distance. Don't try to get maximum stride length. Over stride length means less power and unnecessarily stress on the hamstring muscles. Also. So, moreover, you will lose your speed, lose your frequency. At last, you lose, then lose your speed. Then another one. Focus on rapid. Turn over or spin cycle with the knees parallel to the ground. The knees should be a parallel to the ground. Then another one, relaxation. That is most important. Make sure to keep your body relaxed in entire time. By doing so, you will reduce the amount of energy wasted from holding on to tension so relax your body through different types of training so to systematic training only we can relax our body entire body entire muscle for sprint 100 and 200 meters that is very important for us then we can perform maximum then we can use our maximum potential Without relaxed body, we cannot take our maximum potential out. Then, this is the perfection of sprint start. That is also very important. Once you lose your start, you will lose your race. That is the important factor of hundred meter sprint. That is we we, we could see in uh, see in uh, Usain Bolt also once. Once he took false start, he lost his race. Many athletes, Linford Christie, in uh, Olympics, he took two false start. They couldn't pass by another minute's fire. See, that's what. That's why uh, that that start is very important. An athlete with a, um, a super quick start leaves the block first and start isolating. That means how to start. Usually with dominant leg, as we all know, the dominant leg. You will notice that 
not every sprinter starts with the same foot forward. It is down to the athlete and coach to determine which leg is the dominant leg simply through trial and error method. All the coaches, all the PTs knows very well about that. Then block spacing. That is also important for our sprint. I mean, the start. The dominant leg will be placed on the first pedal and the second pedal will be placed slightly behind that. We all know. The hand placement. It's important that your hands are placed as closer but behind the line. Then reacting to the gun. It is, my dear friends, it is important to develop your reaction time to get off to a flying start. You need to make sure that you react only to the gun. Not before, not after. Then, when we discuss of how to spin hundred meters, I would like to share something about how to spin hundred meters. We can separate in different parts. In first part, train for a race. Train for a race. Training is very important. Different phases are there. You know very well. Off-season, mid-season, pre-competition, competition, like that. You can divide it. You have to train for a race. Without proper training, don't try to attempt harmonies. Otherwise, that will catch your muscles. No doubt. Set a goal, as I told you earlier. It's the first part. Get your foot blocks and practice your starting stance. So first, you have to train. Second, you should have one goal, vision. Third one, get your foot blocks to practice your starting stance. Practice your starting position. Run practice spins. Short sprints like 30 meters, 40 meters, 50 meters, 60 meters. Short sprints. Okay, these are coming under first part. In second part, let us see. Second part. Get an appropriate amount of sleep in night before. As we all know, because sometimes we couldn't sleep. Tomorrow program now, we couldn't sleep properly because of tension, stress, anxiety. But the sound sleep is very important to perform maximum my dear friends. Eat a good breakfast before the race. That means at least three hours before. Breakfast or lunch, good food. Warm up before the race. I'm going to discuss, we, can, we will discuss about warming up. That is very, very important part. The bar, good warming up play a major role to perform maximum. Drink plenty of water. Practicing as well as warming. If you want, you can have sufficient water. Then third part. Get a good start. Good start. Straighten up during the gun. Sorry, during the running, run. Listen, gun, and straighten up during the run. After listening, gun. Power through the middle part of the race. That means 400 meters between, 100 meters is the best example to discuss all these things. Between 40 to 70 meters. Or we can say 30 to 70, 75 meters. Power is very important. Lunch towards to finish. Little bit, not that much. Lunch towards the finish. Then avoid common problems. We, can, we should avoid other, other common problems. Then when we discuss about the fourth part, improving your technique. With a good coach, with scientific knowledge. That is what we are lacking here in India, from my view. 
we have many sna centers but we don't have that much of technical knowledge like uh, uh, one uh, human performance laboratory at us as well as canada we have to improve that then second one take more steps when you sprint that means the more steps you take the faster you will go instead of taking long strides as i told you earlier your body should be relaxed during sprinting then angle your torso forward the the more you toss your torso is angled forward the faster you will run that's the technique the last one is lift your knee knee up less or your first step that means the less you lift up your knee at the beginning of your sprint don't try to take maximum distance for first step don't lift your knee uh, as i mean uh, for a 90 degree angle for first step don't try to lift your knee maximum for first step if you are lifting maximum definitely you will reduce the speed your body will be straighter that means the speed will break the faster you will go see practice keeping you will need down as much as possible and see if your speed increases you can see this one in usain bolt hundred meter he done very nicely he didn't lift your knee first he is trying like this so that is also very important for first step these are the four steps four parts of hundred meters through this we can improve hundred meter sprint these are techniques in all hundred meter sprint then i told you no one thing see warming up my dear friends coaches physical educator scientists this is very important for hundred meters rather than any training rather than any good food a good rest this is warming up warming up in sense of not like other games full warm up four workout session that means cardiac warming up warm up takes around not 5 to 10 minutes 20 to 25 minutes it is called a dynamic movement circuit and it is done using just only 30 meters 30 meters it will take 20 to 30 minutes that is called my different cardiac cardiac warming up then only you can perform you can use your all muscles then only you can relax your all muscles majority of the muscles lower part as well as upper part muscles involved in going in hard meter sprint then these are sprinting training specific these are type of sprint training to improve eye speed many people knows about i would just touch that okay i will finish i will finish within a 5 10 minutes 5 minutes see first one is resistor sprinting the resistor sprinting is a commonly used method to overload specific capacities for sprinting acceleration performance including uphill sprinting sled sprint or using uh, motorized devices if possible you can use that is not possible in india that we don't have from my knowledge but it possible you can use motorized device also resistor sprinting that's very important to improve speed then assisted sprinting that we all know for example a downhill running being pulled by an elastic cord or motorized devices has occasionally been used by scientists and uh, practitioners as a tool for maximum velocity improvement downhill can go fast then uh, resistor sprinting is commonly used in the preparatory training phases not for competition period 
then next one technical train sports scientist or physical education specialist and spin press specialist how emphasize the importance of technique on spin running performance techniques is very very important then next one strength and power training strength and power training has received considerably research attain over a years and training recommendation for hypertrophy maximal strength and power are outlines for novice intermediate and advanced athletes and an athlete can achieve this through weight training some other type of resistance training and other type of uh, devices using some medicine ball or like uh, this uh, uh, other type of machines we can use different types of resistance training we can use to improve our strength and power next one we all know plyometric training plyometric exercises are characterized by rapid stretch shortening cycle muscle sections and include range of unilateral and bilateral bounding hopping jumping depth, different types of jump, uh, depth jump frog jump different types of jumping movements and medicine ball throw variations for improving your uh, plyometric i mean um, elastic power explosive power you can use medicine balls apart from this plyometric items plyometric box pro plyometric actions like uh, hopping bounding jumping then recovery stages statuses recovery that is very important the performance capacity of an athlete de depends on an optimal balance between training and recovery while sleep and nutrition are fundamental for the restoration of daily life and the recovery process so if we want to get a full recovery good nutrition as well as sound sleep then chapering last one chapering refers to the mass reduction of the total training load in the final days before an important competition one day before competition tapering strategies consists of short term balancing act reducing the cumulative effects of fatigue but maintaining fitness then act you warming up don't take that much of strenuous excess before day even before second day of competition but you have to say maintain your fitness to act you rest then only you can perform maximum these are the specific uh, techniques of sprint training the perfect 100 meters race the perfect 100 meters race is the starting block listen for the gun this is perfect i'm going to finish this is very important for our readers if you want to become a sprinter you have to listen this the starting block listen for the gun not to the gun listen for the gun the first hundred meters like blinking like breathing hundred meters the next cell oh, i'm sorry not 10 meters not 100 meters next 10 meters that means 20 meters when you reach 20 meters slowly but surely stand up slowly the next 10 meters 30 meters fast moving part of the race then 40 meters no peaking the next 10 meters 50 meters a lot like driving then when you reach 60 meters you enter in another world you enter you're going to the maximum speed and the world then 70 meters it is all an illusion that means we are all taking or you have you can understand where you are leader on reading runner or not when you reach 70 meters 
it is an illusion stage. When you reach, reach 80 meters, decisions, decisions. When you reach 90 meters, don't get greedy. The finish line. Lead, but not too early. Spinders occasionally make terrible mistake at this point. You could remember Justin Gatlin monument. It at least at last years years world meet. I think last year's world meet. I think I couldn't remember the correct meet. Justin Gatlin, the lean of his body when he reached 90 meters, 92, 90, sorry, 90 meters. But Lean, but not too early. When reach 97 meters, 96 meters, up 96, you can lean. That's the correct technique. See, how to improve spinning technique, the last slide. How to improve your spinning technique. First one, apart from systematic training, since you don't have sufficient time, I'm not going to enter the training procedure, training methods. But this is also very important. How to improve the spinning technique. First one, good posture is important for spinning. Good posture, body posture. Second, use your arms to spin faster. Deltoid muscle, trapezius muscle, both are important. Lactimus don't see wings muscle also involved that much. Not that much involved biceps and triceps. These three muscles, triceps, I mean, sorry, the deltoid, uh, that uh, pectoralis, I mean, the pectoralis muscles, pectoralis muscles are also involved. This, this for uh, arm swing, it's very important. Lactimus dorsi muscle, I don't, I said, I said, all these three, three muscles, it's very important to get maximum and arms to swing. Then another one, move your legs like piston. Leg movement like piston. Then last one, perfect start. These four techniques are very important for improving your spin technique, spin events. 100, especially 100 meters, 100, all the 100 and 200, 400 is so coming on spin events, 100 and 200 meters, especially 100 meters. Good posture is important. Good posture, use your arm to spin faster. Use your arm power, shoulder power. Then your legs like piston. Move your legs fast. Then perfect start. These are the things involved in spin technique. Thank you. Uh, right, sir, that was a wonderful session. Thank you so very much. Now, we will go ahead and take some time for a um, few questions. Uh, just a reminder for the audience, for the viewers today, those who are watching this session, uh, don't forget to take out time and uh, please write down your question. Please type your questions into the comment section onto the PEFI page. Uh, so till then, these days, PEFI, Physical Education Foundation of India, is organizing an FDP for the physical education teachers of the schools. As schools are the first place where a sports talent is identified or we can say recognized or developed, what would you suggest for the little sprinters who want to take running as their event? Sir, so, okay, nice question. Uh, talent identification, that is very important to find out uh, good, not only sprinters, good sports persons. As far as track and field is concerned, Middle East and this, uh, first for spinders, we can take on trial. Then we can, uh, their interest also, we can conduct interview as well as we can uh, take on trial for amateurs. I mean, so, short spin, 50 meters spin. For less than 10 years age, now we can conduct on 50 meters spin. 
one one efficient coach or experienced visualization teacher can identify very easily their leg movements their frequency that is what very important then we can identify so many methods are there where uh, i cannot say all things right now because of the practical oriented programs we can identify sprinters we can conduct on trial for 50 meter sprint Uh, right sir it's it it looks like we have covered all our questions uh, moving ahead i now request three times limca book record holder awardee of the highest civilian honor to indian women nari shakti puraskar by the president of india in 2018 recipient of many national and international awards swimming expert at nis and sports authority of india assistant professor department of physical education lady shri ram college for women university of delhi ms meenakshi pahuja to give away the concluding remarks and vote of thanks ma'am please thank you dr ramrita i thank the physical education foundation of india for organizing such a fabulous paint taking uh, session i congratulate uh, dr george ibrahim the principal of ymc physical education college for this incredible session it says volumes about you dr george your rich experience as a sprinter and how articulate your session was if you have covered through your session all the aspects of uh, a sprinter and you made it sound so easy like anybody can be a 100 meter dash runner covering from variety of uh, you know diversities of uh, a sprinter i would say you made it sound very 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 simple through your session you talked about the simplest things of uh, you know how from an amateur level you can go ahead and be an olympic medalist and be at the top when it comes to a sprinting event 100 meter sprint is not an easy task we all know in the minimum time to accelerate and give your best is the key right when we talk about the 100 meters uh, sprint event it's the, like highlighted by you it is still a very controversial one when it says that the sprinters are born and not made but somewhere we know sprint events are uh, trainable and uh, uh, sprinting can be improved if we follow discipline and we have a systematic training plan you very nicely you know highlighted the way uh, osin bolt uh, training graph was the his sprinting graph and in comparison with other world champions who were there in 2009 uh, world championship that was a very informative uh, analysis of a speed graph i think that's where it talks about the research credibility of yours up to the level you have gone to prepare this presentation i was personally making notes and what um, i registered from your session was uh, you know uh, the phases of 100 meter sprint event all uh, aspirants who are watching this uh, session and uh, who attended your session the aspirants be it the future sprinters our coaches our physical education teachers like dr arunrita said they are the first one to spot the talent the talent identification on the ground is important and very rightly pointed out by you dr george that the phases of the sprinter very 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 important at the very first age you know stage of a sprinter to identify the talent once you know that uh, the dominance of fast twitch fiber is there and a young athlete is showing progress there are signs that can be trained and a sprinter can improve its uh, uh, you know capabilities further moving on you uh, said that um, uh, the perfect uh, 100 meters would be uh, if you as a sprinter is focusing on the start of the gun rather than looking here and there your focus is 100% somewhere you highlighted as an elite athlete 
you are always focused mm -hmm. as a high performer. You're taking care of, uh, you know, not registering what's happening around, but you are very much in your race, right? Um, you made it sound very easy when you said uh, it's simple by uh, simply taking care of the training principles, the sprint techniques, uh, the physiological aspect of a sprinter, then, um, you know, developing how the a sprinter's uh, stride is. All those things do matter in the developing of a sprinter. I congratulate you for this incredible session. I'm sure a lot of uh, uh, aspirants who are watching this uh, session who had listened to you will take these invaluable tips, work on the techniques, how the sprinting event can be improved. And if uh, our coaches can take note of these uh, inputs by you, which is coming straight from a man who has dominated a master's 100 meter sprint event. You have been the best in the country when it came to 100 meter sprint event yourself. Through your session, you were able to transform your rich experience into you know, sharing that knowledge and aspirants will definitely take advantage of uh, the inputs given by you. And I'm sure if all take note of uh, the tips given by you, whether it is the training methods or the scientific approach, or, uh, you know, while preparing a graph, like today, if I uh, start running, I should monitor how am I progressing as a sprinter. That was a very good suggestion, I would say. So with those words, I thank you and thank you for touching upon the most, uh, you know, questioning somewhere, the most uh, controversial statement that sprinters are born and they're not made, but your session and your presentation highlighted that speed is trainable and discipline is very much required to be at that elite level of performance. I thank you for this incredible session. I thank the Physical Education Foundation of India for giving the opportunity to thousands and lakhs of physical educationists all over the country to come together and view, exchange these ideas, knowledge, and learn from each other. I thank Dr. Tarun and Dr. Amrita for coordinating this fabulous session. Looking forward to many more such sessions from the platform of Physical Education Foundation of India. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, after that wonderful concluding remark, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up our eighth session of uh, Facebook PEFI 2.0 Live. On behalf of Physical Education Foundation of India, I once again thank you all for making time in your busy schedules to join us here. PEFI invites suggestions from all the physical educationists, experts, professionals, teachers, coaches, and students for topics to be included for PEFI live sessions in future. Please suggest topics related to your area of the interest related to physical education and sports. You can send us your valuable suggestions on at PEFI office at the rate gmail.com. Your suggestions will be highly appreciated. Thanks everyone for spending your valuable time with us on Peffy Life 2.0 for providing your kind suggestions and compliments. For more information, please contact info at the rate peffyindia.org. It's been our pleasure to host this event and I wish you all a pleasant day. Tomorrow, we'll be meeting a new expert with a new topic here on Peffy Life 2.0 platform. Till then, stay indoors, stay safe. Thank you.